Oh yeah. Man, why you kicking my bumper, man? You hating. Kicking my my Man, you know, you're talking to, you're yeah. talking to Al. See, you talking to Al. Nah, because it's. Nah, because if he fixed it, because I have to repaint it and clear it. Instead of just touching it up, man, it's the. Because then you have to paint it and clear it. I ain't banned on all that. It look good. Look at that. The after. I just gotta go to the salvage yard and get a grill. And we in the game. Look at that. How much is 35 now? Value just went up to 30. Alright. That's 35. That's 45 right there. Bro, that's a 45. That's 45. That's a 2008. That's a 2008. That's 2006. Which one go be more value? A Toyota Corolla or a damn? I don't know. Yeah, look at the tires on the Corolla. Look at the tires on the Nissan, and it got rims. You okay? Yours got air. Yours. That one got air. Yours got hell damage, bro. Mine ain't got no hell damage, bro. The windshield. Bro, the windshield is crispy. Now I was just talking about this den up here. But they ain't got to worry about that. You gonna fix all the body work. 35. Yeah, but you're going to be more invested than mine. See? Oh, well. So you're going to paint the roof? See? Nah, I ain't going to do all that. Look. I'm going to I'm going to be 800. Look. Out there, look. Nah, he's going to call me. Mine is fixed. And I only got $800 in it. Yeah, you won. Three. Let's see it. 300. 200 to get it, 300 a wolf. 400, I didn't put two years here. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That's the same thing I I should have had him clean the headlight, man. Like, dang, hey, Wilson, clean my head. Nah, I forgot how to make the headlight, John. Nah, Wilson could clean it. He got some, some little stuff over here to clean it. Nah, uh, that's like transmission fluid. Transmission fluid, too. And sometimes people use, like, off, too. I don't know what off on. Gotcha, Money man. Ah, uh, he's uh, trying to show us his women back here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, first class. Look at his women. What's up, man? Thank you, Oh yeah, good, man. Oh, so you got a problem with the tomato? Oh, I never got a problem with the tomato. Oh, so you got a problem with the tomato? Yeah, you ain't paying that. You ain't paying that. Yeah, but he didn't print it from him. He didn't. Oh, yeah, it's coming together. What, he painted back the original? Yeah. You know, Brian, this time, and then I'm just going to bring it back to paint it. Hey, the living? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Living? Living? Living. What you gonna be driving me? Yeah, I'm gonna see him in the uh in the on the track. I'm gonna come back and pay you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Three grand. He bought it for three grand and then he messed it up. Uh, I bought it for three grand and then I wrecked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then he wrecked it. Blue. How much you Look at that. Nissan ready to go. Yeah, it's got that little crinkle in there. Clean the headlight up a little bit. I'm gonna go get a grip. But you can't even really tell that little crinkle though, can y'all? And look at that. He put the flakes in the paint too. Y'all can see it, flakes in the paint. Just need a good spray off. You gotta start it up, bring them back. My tag up here? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know the converter's like partially clogged up too, so I'm gonna take it to the exhaust shop just to go check and make sure. Let's see if you can start it. 
start up, you hear that little mm. I know it's like kind of like partially clogged, so I'm gonna go do that. Try to we'll see if I can run into the salvage yard. I'm gonna go check um LK, I'm gonna go check, no, I'm gonna go check pull apart since they a lot cheaper. Go run in there, see if I can get me a grill. But yeah, y'all hear that we stopped up. But yeah, this thing ready to go. We're gonna slap a slap a grill in there. We're gonna be good to go. Off to the exhaust show. Whew. It was hot outside. It's 102 today. It was 100, it's 102. Supposed to get up to 104. So I had to wait and let the AC kick in. But yeah, we got to take this to the exhaust shop. And Wilson got done with this car in one day, literally. I dropped those parts off to him, was it like five o'clock? He texts me um, at, what, he texts me at like 9.48 this morning. 9.48 in the morning. I don't know what day y'all gonna see it. Y'all might see it. Cause I know I got an auction video. So y'all might, might've seen the auction video before y'all seen this one. But yeah, I dropped it off at nine. I mean, I dropped those parts off literally at like five o'clock and he was done done like already painted and good ready to go well i think i already passed did i pass the muffler shop already i didn't pass the muffler like i was saying it's freaking hot out hot 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 like i was saying so it's hot so my phone you know when your phone gets too hot you know my phone was out there sitting in the sun and it's baking it's a hundred and Plus the degree weather, you know, my phone was like, oh, well, yeah, you know, my phone was like, struggle, so it had to cut off, so I had to let it cool down for a minute, but yeah, I know this converter is on here, I feel like it's like partially, it's like kind of like clogged up, it's not really like clogged up, but it's like, it's kind of, it's, 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 it's a little, it's a little, it's little trash and particles in here that's break, it's, break, it's starting to break down, and don't need that so go what i'm gonna do is go here get the converter taken off then i do like you know i put the straight pipe on and then i'm gonna take the converter to the metal check or you know whatever the metal check whatever place take it whatever and basically whatever money it's gonna cost like it's gonna probably cost probably about 80 100 bucks to get the straight pipe probably less than that this is this is a smaller car so i know the converter and the pipe make will probably get it big so probably be way way cheaper uh, so i'm gonna take the once once the converter off then i'm gonna go get my money right back take the bird up there with the title get my money right back and then after get my money right back then i'm gonna take it you know i'm gonna clean it up myself it's already pretty clean on the inside but i got some, i did i did go to walmart and give me one of those little dust bistles shout out to you you know who you are you know who, you know who you are you didn't know who you are that referred to you i got a little one of those handheld bistles but you know who you are. I don't, I don't like, I always try to, try to say people's names and stuff like that because I don't know, you know, people might not want their name seen or something like that. But she knows who she is. Got the other little one, little bristle, so those seats ain't that bad. So they, I got the little spray, so I'm gonna hit the spray ch -ch -ch -ch, and, you know, clean it up, vacuum it out. And then we're gonna post it up there for sale. You know, some of y'all say 35, some of y'all said 28 20, or 28, some people said 26. You know, me, I always be lowballing myself. You know, people always, on the hire and I always lowball myself and I, I'm not in that and I don't really say lowball on myself you know because I, I do have to make a profit but I also do want to provide you know the still have the reasonable price deals I don't want everybody because you know inflation the, everything does have to go up but I don't want I don't want to have to go up like where it's just crazy price you know I still want to be able to sell a car for a good price range not where it's like crazy price and people are like man that's Cause I know, cause I know people got a lot of money during the pandemic, but AC probably going, probably messing up my audio. And I know a lot of people got money during the pandemic and their money's probably gone and people, you know, did what they did to get the money and stuff like that. But I know it was a lot of people that spend a lot of their savings, you know, a lot of their money, you know, you know, like me, I was one of those people, like when stuff got shut down, I was burning through my savings. So, you know, I had to, and I have to get my money right back up. You know, I did spend money on the truck and stuff like that. And, you know, the pandemic and then going and trying another venture, trying, trying to do some uh, another business in the pandemic was not the smartest decision that you can make. 
So, but I know there's a lot of people now, right now, that's probably just back working and getting some money saved up and trying to get back in that. Man, and people might not have all the money like people. Some of these people answer for these cars because some of these people are asking like crazy amounts. Like I seen this same Nissan, you know, people got to post for five, six grand, you know, six, some people seven grand, you know, and I'm not. And, and then see, and then things too. I mean, I guess I do have to up the price because when you have the stuff price, so cheaper than everybody else around, the first thing people want to know is like, what's wrong with it? And, you know, they, people just assume that there's something wrong with it, you know, because it's price cheaper than everybody was, you know, people don't realize sometimes you just trying to help people out. I'm not trying to. You know, because I bought the car for a price, right? Good reason. I bought the price for a good price. I bought it right, you know, because that's when you, that's where you make your money. You make you make your money buying stuff the right way, not just overpriced the stuff and be like, oh man, well I gotta try to get my money back, you know, because stuff. But yeah, but we here at the at L. That's how you pronounce it, Campion. What's up? What's going on, man? Do you remember me? Um, huh? Yeah, I need to check and see if the converter's like, I feel like it seems like it's kind of like stopped up a little bit or breaking down the converter. That's all it's, it's Yeah, that's the code that it was bringing up. So, uh, I mean, I guess I can straight pipe it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, has a two catalytic converter. So, let me see. You said I'll let you see? Yeah, I can put my scan tool up, but my scan tool won't tell me which one. Is up, so, I don't know. It's just both, and oh well. But just put a straight pipe on it and call it a day. I'm not, I'm not about to route the wood if, you know, one being, because one might be clogged up and the second one might not be, you know. Just don't deal with the headache and just chop them both off and <laughs> chop them both off and put a pipe there and go on down the road. Hopefully, as long as it ain't one of those flex pipes that you gotta put a little flex pipe and curve up there, then I think it'll be all right. Yeah. It is hot. No good. Yeah, see, it ain't even, it ain't even hot. Like coming off the car, it should be. It ain't even really that hot to touch, like it's warm, but uh, it was doing half his job, it wasn't doing all his job, so it was, but we'll take it, we'll take it to the little converter shop, you know, he's charging me $80 to put a straight pipe on. You know, I know the price of everything went up. You know, you probably would have been sick because I know it ain't that big of a piece of pipe to go from there. Man, but, you know, so take that one with us. Um, take it, sell it, um, get all those $80 back. So basically, you know, you really didn't spend any money. You know? I mean, yeah, you have to overcome selling it with the check engine light on, but. But I always, I always tell people to take it to uh, AutoZone. I always have people take it to the local, if, when the check engine lights on, because the converter, I always tell them take I always tell them like, hey, I put a straight pipe on it. There's no O2 sensor on there. So hey, the check engine lights on, you're more than welcome. You know, to go to AutoZone, they'll read you the code and they'll, and they'll you know, and just tell them like, it's got a straight pipe on and they'll, and they'll basically let you know that because it has a straight pipe on, it doesn't have a O2 sensor on there. So that's what code for it. It's code for the O2 sensor. So the check engine light will always be on. Uh, if you want to go later on and put a converter back on it with the old two sensor, you're more than welcome. But hey, some states required. Oklahoma is not one of the states required. So I mean, if you plan on moving to one of those states required, then you might want to go on. And I tell them to go. You can go on eBay. You can get you some converters. Put your old two sensor on there and do all that. And you get the ride. So, 
if you want to. If not, ride it with a straight pipe. Not gonna hurt you. No, it doesn't doesn't affect anything. It doesn't stop it doesn't stop you from doing anything. But yeah, I'm gonna go try to go to the salvage yard too because they, they pull apart that they had one oh seven, um, one oh seven. So hopefully the grill is still intact or hopefully it's still out there. So I'm gonna go out and walk out there and we're gonna see. See y'all when we get to the salvage yard. That crispy straight pipe on there. Yeah, it do. It do. It run a lot better. And then when I started, you don't even hear that little rumbling right there. So I, I kind of knew it was a converter. Like I knew it had two of. I forgot it did. I forgot Nissan does put one, two of them on there. They put one like kind of by the motor. You know, it's kind of like where you have to get like a flex pipe. They kind of put like a two system one. Uh, but look at. That. Let's take a picture in front of the pull apart. So it just looks. Look how good that thing look. Look how good it look. Look how good it looks. Good man, my guy Wilson. Now I just need to be cleaned up. I'm gonna clean that headlight. Look how good that thing looks. But yeah. I'm gonna drive it. If hopefully they got a grill. If not, then I'll just have to bite the bullet and you know spend the forty dollars. It's actually forty three and some change, so it's like forty three plus tax, so it's like forty six, seven dollars for a freaking grill. They be killing it. A little piece of plastic grill and they want to charge 50 bucks like i can just go buy and if i'm gonna buy one 40 bucks i can just order one at least do i don't want to buy no used one for that much and the same thing as the grill is just this little plastic little grill insert so hopefully pull apart got my two dollars to enter two dollars to end what's going on boss how many how many right. Nissan Sentra's y'all get? What year? Uh, mine's 08. Let me see. What's going on, man? What is it, free day? One 2007. One 2007? That's it, yeah. What row is on? Uh, 409. That's all the way in the back end. Yep. Yeah. Oh. You ain't got no car to like lift me back there, man? Nah, man. Y'all need... Yeah, y'all need to like to rent out little cars so people can little cars that people can rent and go to the back. Today is free day, right? Four oh nine, right? All right, bet. Freeze, they got you. Four, four oh nine. Oh, yeah, y'all see that? Y'all see that? See? See, if you gotta get General Motor products, you know, if you're a Chevy guy, you right here in the front. 800, row 800, 700 to General Motors, then you got the Jeeps, got the Ford, I think. Then you got the imports, so we on here. So we gotta go all the way to 409. See, then they got the Dodge and Chrysler in the back, kind of next to the or the crusher but you know got the vans pickups and vans um but yeah we down here roll 409 so 409 in the blazing heat look at that radiators radiators yeah, they got all they got cars back there they ain't even unloaded yet i shouldn't have worn no pants i gotta go that's what i gotta go do i gotta go buy um, lighter color shirts because all I have is dark color shirts so I need to go buy excuse me I need to go buy some light color shirts and some shorts because I'm, I'm more of a pants type of person anyway I always like to wear pants you know usually I don't really be getting too hot but I mean with this 100 plus degrees all week long man I'm gonna need some shorts so I'm gonna have to go like you know I don't like I don't be I ain't no hot dollar type of person you already know who I, how I am I'm probably go like Ross, maybe like Marsh. I'm probably go like Mar Marshalls, maybe Burlington and stuff like that. Burlington be having some nice stuff. So I'll probably go like Ross, Marshall, Burlington. Probably give me about, give me about ten. You know, maybe you can get some shirts, shorts for like ten dollars a piece. I can go, go give me about fifteen shirts, pair of shorts for like two hundred bucks. I'll be in the game. That's all I'm gonna need. Fifteen good shorts, cause wearing pants is not the move. I mainly got pants. Yeah. <sighs> Those 
one of those things that you know I was like man I'm, it was one of those things where you that you don't really know that you kind of be self-conscious about like man I was kind of I was like I'm always been skinny I'm always be skinny my legs used to like always didn't look extra skinny so I was like yeah for my legs looking extra skinny just wear just, that's why I just always had a lot of pants just wear pants but I don't really care I've been stopped caring about that and then I just and once I stopped caring, I really ended up stop. Then I started getting, then I was, then I started being more frugal with my money. So I didn't stop caring about, oh, let me go out there and buy this. And in my younger days, when I worked at, when I worked for Coca-Cola and your boy was getting paid on a weekly basis, when I was younger and I was at the car lot making all that money. And I used to moving around. I used to just always, I was always at the mall, buying something, buying jewelry. You know, if y'all have a, Look at the old something. If y'all anybody was a Facebook friend of me and y'all go look at my old pictures, man. I was always dressed up, man. I was jewelry, Jordans, all that. Fresh cut all the time, design. And then I stopped caring about all that stuff. It didn't didn't mean anything. It was just kind of just a big old waste. But as we done walked all the way back here. Where are we at? Uh, okay, that's 400. Um, they got one back here, so I was spending my $2 for uh, point, 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 Oh, probably. What is that 409? Look at that. Pants. Then me. I always wore long. I always wear long socks too. Cause all my socks I got is long socks. I just like long socks. So I never liked the ankle socks. I never liked. I never liked short socks, man. And I always wore like mid-top shoes and stuff like that. So, so I got long socks and black pants, which is killer. It is definitely. Roll 409. This is the Nissan Sentra. And watch, it has no front on there. Watch. Nope. It doesn't. <laughs> Sad days. Sad days. Sad days. So, full of parts didn't have a grill, so I'm gonna have to just bite the pool. Nah. I, I eventually, I, mean, I probably remember we'll have to just bite the bullet and pay the $43. Uh, bullet part to grill is only $10. You know, I can save that $30 and put that $30 somewhere else. You know, because it's like, bullet part's like 10 plus 10, so it'll end up being like, 12, like $12 or something like that. But, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to, I guess I'm going to have to pay 43 if I can't. I'm going to call around these other two salvage yards right quick, but I'm about to head to the gym. Um, for a little bit, get a little, get a little work out of it. So, so I'm gonna call those other salvage yards and see if they got one for cheaper. If not, then I'll just buy. I'll just go spend the forty-three dollars, put it on, and stuff like that, and call it a day. Uh, uh, but let me know in the comment section below. Now that y'all see it, oh yeah, I got do got to clean that one headlight. Though. I got to make both headlights look extra good and stuff like that. You know, but Wilson, he got it done really quick. Y'all see how fast he got. It? Turned around, you know. I, I'm gonna just drop this video. Y'all gonna see, y'all seeing this video the next day, hey, literally the next day. Like, I was gonna drop it after the auction video, but I'll just let y'all drop it back to back so y'all can, y'all can see, y'all can really see the before and after. Um, but, I'll, but so I've been getting all y'all comments, so I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate everybody that's been liking the video. We're on the road to, we're about to hit 4,000 subscribers probably within the next. Probably within the next week or two, you know, if you haven't already, you know, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, you know, share it if you can. If not, it's completely understandable. But liking the video just helps you go a long way. Also, drop your comments because I'll, I'll enjoy all the feedback. Uh, when I do get a chance to sit down, I do try to go and respond to all the comments. Um, but, yeah, I have to go to the gym. I got to stay with it, stay with it. Um, I have then, I'm going to get up in the morning tomorrow morning then i can go um to walmart i gotta i gotta go to walmart i gotta get some more i gotta get some freon for the zuzu um and get some
some Freon. I need to get some, get some, I need to make sure I get my quarters. So I do got these dollars right here. So I can go back, keep it up and spray it off. I'm gonna take it and get the oil change. Uh, make sure the AC is kicking in. Then we're gonna post that one up for sale. Get that one, get that one sold real quick. Uh, and then I bought, uh, so I'm gonna let y'all see this before the auction video so y'all already know what I bought. If y'all watched it all the way through, you know, I bought a Chevy Tracker. So, um, so y'all see the video of me and my brother who picked up the cars we bought today. So y'all see that. Anything else? Oh, uh, if y'all haven't already, you know, make sure you go subscribe to my other channel. It's called Try This With JJ. So I'm just trying all different foods, drinks, and snacks, all different types of stuff. Not even from just food, drinks, and snacks, you know, for, for everything. You know, trying every, you know, it's, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna buy some clothes, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try those different clothes on, see how those fit and stuff like that. You know, trying all different types. It's basically just me trying stuff. You know, um, but it's gonna be a majority of food and stuff that I can just pick up. But if it's like something like skydiving or something like that, I'm gonna go try that. And eventually, you know, all that scuba diving and all that. It's gonna be basically just me trying stuff. You know. Make sure y'all go follow that. Go go follow the Instagram page, you know. Go follow that. Try this with JJ on Instagram. Uh, but that's it. I'm out. Peace.